Hi, welcome to another episode of CRC. We are commercial real estate consultants. I'm Ben Ba, and I'm with Andrew Elliott. Hi, Andrew. Good afternoon, Ben. How are you? Good. So today we're going to talk about Jebelati Free Zone. Jafsa is a very famous free zone within Dubai. And a lot of our clients, when they contact us, they want to get a warehouse or they want to get a license there. So tell us about Jafsa. Jebelati Free Zone is the largest port within the GCC. Um, it is a free zone, however, what a lot of people use Jabal Ali free zone for is importing and re-exporting products. It's a bonded free zone, so anything that comes in or out of the free zone, you will be liable for the import and export duties of that product. A lot of clients uh, bring products into Dubai or into the Jabal Ali free zone port. They repackage it, especially with the language differences in the region, and then re-export it, and it attracts a large amount of companies like that. There is obviously a percentage of product that then comes into Dubai, and the client would then be liable for the import duties of that product. Sure. And what, who is the typical customer for Jibalati? So if you look at the majority of clients we deal with, they're either into logistics companies who are bringing products in from around the world, or you have manufacturing products. Um, there's food companies within in Jibalati Free Zone who repackage food for the region, um, and then that gets re-exported. Okay, amazing. And what products do we have? We have warehouses, we have obviously lands and plus they can lease. Tell us a typical like you know product that we, we normally transact. So most of our transactions in Jabal Ali Free Zone are warehouses where companies come in, they purchase the warehouse. Prices for sales of warehouses at the moment are anywhere between about 200 and 350 dirhams a square foot, depending on what type of warehouse it is. Um, bear in mind as well with these uh, land in Jabal Ali Free Zone, it's a leasehold, so it's leased through the Jabal Ali Free Zone Authority, and you will be liable for the yearly uh, land lease to the authority. Amazing. And in terms of the licensing, what's your recommendation for someone who wants to get it? So for Jabal Ali Free Zone, I would recommend that you actually speak to the authority and, and arrange a meeting with them where they can advise you on the licensing and the setting up of your company there so you're incorporated within the Jabal Ali Free Zone. Great. If you have any inquiries for Jafsa, whether you want to lease or sell, please contact our team and myself and we can help you. Stay in tune as we're introducing other free zones within Dubai like DIFC yeah. and Airport Freezer. Thank you.